We're going to spend the next three days with couples whose marriages are in trouble. What happens if you're married to somebody and they change? Two weeks, we get along wonderful. In two weeks, we can't stand each other. When we were first married, we did communicate much more than we do now. Would you and call this man a workaholic? Yes. You're not working together as partners. If you would talk to each other 10 minutes a day, you'll start talking about what you're feeling. Tuesday at midnight on Nashville Channel 2. 1954, the biggest H-bomb ever changes the world. Rock and roll changes our kids. UPI says, tape Cosby, watch our world, Thursday. Today's business is what you want and need to know about the business world. It's corporate strategies. Who's banking on today? Who's building for the future? It's consumer information, sorting out interest rates and timely tax tips. It's economic outlook from balancing the federal budget to weighing the issues on Wall Street. It's business news for Tennesseans, from local stocks to investments that impact our future. When it comes to making money, the buck starts here with today's business. A complete wrap-up of election results from Senate to state races, including reactions from the winners and losers. Tomorrow on ABC's World News This Morning. Before Good Morning America. Tomorrow, David Hartman's African safari leads to elephants living in the wild. And we'll travel to Tangiers, where Timothy Dalton is filming the new James Bond movie on Good Morning America. It had been a typical Monday at the Big Star store at Gallatin Road and Old Hickory Boulevard on November 22nd. Around 11.30 that night, the bookkeeper was preparing the daily bank deposit in the store office when she heard someone come in behind her. Before she could turn around, a man stuck a gun to the back of her head and told her not to move. Give me all your money. He then reached around her and started grabbing all of the money on the counter. After putting the money in a brown paper bag, the robber went over to the safe and unsuccessfully attempted to open it. Before leaving, he forced the woman to lie on the floor. Metro police are looking for a short, muscular white man with a dark suntan. He appeared to be in his 30s, had dark curly hair, and at the time of the robbery was wearing a blue shirt. I'm Sergeant Jerry Mays. This week, Crime Stoppers is offering a $1,000 cash reward for information on this crime and up to $1,000 on any other major crime. Just call Crime Stoppers at 74-CRIME. That's 742-7463. That's Crime Stoppers at 74-CRIME. Hi, I'm Ann Holt. You know, most of us take for granted a trip to the supermarket, but 10% of all Nashvillians go hungry every day. To help feed the needy, Channel 2 and Can Man ask you to support our Food for Families food drive. It begins October 20th and ends Sunday, November 16th with our traditional reverse parade through Centennial Park. We need to raise food for Second Harvest Food Bank. So be watching Channel 2 for more information on how you can make a contribution and a difference. Meet the meanest man who ever lived. So mean he makes women faint, gives men heart attacks, horses too. So mean he makes you want to slap his face or throw something in it or just grab him and sling him around a little or wish his campfire would explode or his house burn down or a plane would crash with him on it. And then you see that phony grin and you think, nah, after all, what would you do for excitement without old J.R. Ewing to get you all riled up? Besides, don't you just love to hate him? Dallas, at 10 in the morning on Channel 2.